resolutions, many of them focus on better health, whether it's eating better, getting more active, but you actually might want to focus on your mental health this year, especially yeah, for parents. Absolutely. Psychologist Dr. Laura Saunders is checking in with us. She's got some suggestions for resolutions that could help busy parents. Happy New Year, Doc. How are you? Happy New Year. I am well. Hello, friends. Happy New Year. And yes, we are looking forward to doing good things for ourselves, better mental health. It's not just about I'm going to exercise more, I'm going to eat better. It's actually about doing some things that will make us feel better about ourselves, and that improves the quality of our lives. Okay. And is this something that everyone can do just, you know, in their home, or do you have to go somewhere? What, what are you recommending here? These are simple things. Take, for example, Pause on purpose each day. It doesn't have to be an hour meditation. It can be a, a few moments, whether the morning, afternoon, or evening, where you take some deep breaths, you think some positive thoughts, you slow down a little bit, and you just allow yourself to breathe and be in the moment. Pause on purpose each day. I love the next one. Forgive yourself. Because gosh knows there's a lot to be forgiven with me. <laughs> Right. Nothing comes, I won't comment on that. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> comes from holding on to regrets, right? Yeah. Nothing good comes from that, right? We carry that negative energy with us and we, we need to sort of let go of some of those things that happened and refocus our energy on doing good things, being a good parent, being a good uh, co coworker, being a good spouse, being a good uh, sibling, whatever it is, Focus on what you can do today. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. And, you know, I feel like there's a lot of shame that people bring in from mm -hmm. the previous year into the new year, right? Especially when it comes to diet and I didn't exercise enough and I, you know, engorged myself through the holidays and I let the kids have too much screen time. It's just you got to let that go, you're saying. It doesn't help you make better decisions today. It only makes you feel worse about yourself, which makes it more likely that you'll make more of those not so good decisions mm -hmm. all right forgive yourself oh we just no, went over yeah. that one sorry let go of toxic people in your life hmm. i i yes. got a, so, a list <laughs> this is this is tied this is tied in right in that there are people that have wronged us or harmed us um taking some space from those people setting boundaries around them it also is sometimes about forgiveness. And forgiveness is not about the other person, it's actually about yourself. It doesn't mean you condone their behavior, but it means that you care enough about yourself that you're not gonna hold on to that negative energy. So stepping away from toxic people. That's yeah, such that's, a healing, healing is, thing to do. It's difficult though. So difficult. So difficult. Especially when you're tied to these people in so many different ways exactly. in your life. But it's necessary, you know, it seems. So like you said, it, you can allow that emotional space um, and healthier relationships. So it's good. It's like you wanna right. free, up, free up the, uh, rent or what is it in your head right like yeah, with good the stuff. space in your head yeah and the people in your right life. so that you can't always cut them out totally but you can step away from them a little bit more give yourself you know not see them as often or just give yourself some space mm -hmm. and then do one daily act of kindness all right recognize what you can and cannot control mm. there's a lot we cannot control yep there's a little bit that we can so it's, I ask myself all the time, is this something I have control over? Is this something I can do something about? If it isn't, then I need to find a way to refocus my energy because if it's not something that I have control over, then it, it's not gonna do me much good. All right, and some honorable mentions here on the list. Do one daily act of kindness, as you just mentioned. Also, clean up your social media, focus more on one-to-one -one relationships and friendships, and keep learning. We're always learning. That's great. We're always learning. Mm -hmm. We're always learning. And we're learning with you, Dr. Laura Saunders. So we <laughs> thank you. In this new year. In this new year. Thank you so much for being with us. Take care. Have a great day. All right. You See too. See you next week.